Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we will talk about the multi-core support on the Raspberry Pi Pico and here we will make a simple program that will enable us to run two different piece of code on the two M0 cores of the Raspberry Pi Pico and the code will run simultaneously and this is an introductory video to the multi-core support and I will also make two more videos on this topic that will cover advanced topics like core synchronization and lock allocation and interrupts. So this is the first part of the video and here as you can see this is a red LED and this is a yellow LED. So this is a very simple program. There will be a blink function that will toggle the state of the LED and on the first core we will be running the program that will control the state of the yellow LED and it will toggle the LED after every 5 seconds and also it will print the message on the micro python shell and on the second core we will make a program that will blink the red LED and it will toggle the state after every one second and also it will print the message on the micropython script. So first let us run the micropython script and see the code working. So as you can see the name of the core is second core and the second core is controlling the red LED and the first core is controlling the yellow LED as you can see here there are five messages from the second core and one message from the first core and both the programs are running independently of each other so the first core is controlling the yellow LED and it is toggling it after every five seconds and the second core is controlling the red LED and it is toggling the state of the red LED after every two seconds and it is also printing the message like which core is active at what particular time and so this is the implementation of the code and so now let me tell you about the micropython script so let us stop the execution of the code so first you have to import libraries so you will import this pin class from the machine library and you will import this thread library this is single underscore thread you may call it under thread and this is the library which will support the multi-core operations in micropython and raspberry pi pico so now you have to declare the pins for the leds so make a variable pin object that is red LED and assign the GPIO 20 to it. Set the mode to output with an initial value of 0. Similarly declare a pin for yellow LED at GPIO number 21 and set the mode to output with an initial value of 0. And now you have to define the functions that will handle the code for the first core and the second core so this is the function that will handle the operations of the first core the first core is the main core which you usually write in the while true loop so this is the function that will handle the operation of the first core so give it a name i have named it first core function for the purpose of demonstration and it is not taking any arguments and what it is doing is it is simply toggling the state of the yellow LED pin and it is now creating a time delay of 5 seconds and then it will again toggle the state and at the last it will print that hello there I am the first core because at this particular time the first core is active so this message will be printed and now similarly you have to define the function to handle the second core operations so you have to name it 
आई हैव नेम्ड इट सेकेंड कोर फंक्शन यू मे नेम इट एनी थिंग एज पर योर एप्लीकेशन एंड इन दी सेकेंड कोर यू विल हैव टू क्रिएट अ वाइल लूप बिकॉज वी वॉन्ट दीज लाइन्स ऑफ कोड टू एग्जीक्यूट इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ द फर्स्ट कोर फंक्शन दे आर फॉर वी आर क्रिएटिंग एन इन्फोनाइट लूप यू मे ऑल्सो मेक सम कंडीशनल्स लाइक फॉर आई इन द रेंज टेन और एनी काइंड ऑफ अदर कंडीशनल्स दैट विल ट्रिगर द ऑपरेशन ऑफ दिस कोड ब्लॉक बट फॉर द पर्पज ऑफ डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन आई एम क्रिएटिंग एन इन्फोनाइट लूप एंड वट इट इज डूइंग इज इट विल टेक द रेड एल ई डी पिन एंड इट विल टॉगल द स्टेट ऑफ द एल ई डी पिन सो फर्स्ट इट विल टॉगल द स्टेट and then there will be a time delay of 1 second and then again it will toggle the state and again there will be a time delay of 1 second in the red led pin and then it will print hello there i am the second core and now you have to start the new thread this is the main core and this is the second core so you have to start the new thread so you will take this under thread library and then you will use this method start new thread with these two parameters the first parameter is the name of the function that will be directly linked to the second core so we are using this second core function and the code inside this will be directly executed by the second core therefore we will give the name of the second core function here and then we will make an empty tuple these will be used to pass the parameters to the second core function but in this case we are not taking any parameters therefore we will keep it empty in the later parts of this video i will uh, show you how to pass arguments from the second core to the first core and i will also tell you in the upcoming videos about core synchronization and lock allocations so we will not talk about these here in this video because this is the very basic introduction and so it will take two parameters first is the name of the function and second is an empty tuple and now you have to make the main loop on core 1 so you will make an infinite loop while true and then this is simply execute the first core function so you can see that this while true is executing the first core function that is these lines of code while the second core function will be started by the start new thread method so this code will run independent of this code on the second core function and if you do not want to write this function call here you can directly copy this these lines of code and put it in the while true loop but i like to do it this way because it is clearly making a visual difference in the appearance of the code and we can clearly see that the code of the two cores are properly separated so this is the very basic introduction to multi core programming on the raspberry pi pico and and i will make two other videos related to the same topic and this is the end of the video and thank you very much for watching the video